Hello friends and welcome to CloudFront's YouTube channel. Today, we'll learn how to use Azure Bicep files for publishing Azure Function apps. Bicep is a domain-specific language that uses declarative syntax to deploy Azure resources. In a Bicep file, you define the infrastructure you want to deploy to Azure and then use that file throughout the deployment lifecycle to repeatedly deploy your infrastructure. Your resources are deployed in a consistent manner. Bicep provides concise syntax, reliable type safety, and support for code reuse. Bicep offers the best authoring experience for your infrastructure as a code solution in Azure. So let's begin. Here we have a Bicep file. To understand a Bicep file, it is divided into different parts. This one is specifically for the Azure Function app. So the Bicep file over here, it consists of two parts. One is the variables which we have declared at the top. We have a target scope, which is a resource group that we want to deploy in. Now, here, the Azure Function depends upon a hosting plan. So we have the hosting plan details. We have the hosting plan name and the tier that is premium v2. The name is taken from a variable as you can see over here, which we have declared at the top. Now we have the function app, which is nothing but the resource that we are looking forward to deploy. Here we have the app settings of the function that the function needs to have. The name of the function is there. The location is there. The kind of the resource that is the function app is specified. Also, we have added some tags for the function. And at the end, we have that this resource depends upon a hosting plan, right? So let's see how you can deploy this Azure function to your Azure portal. For this, open a new terminal. Hit AZ login. And login to your Azure portal. OK, so I'm just logging in. I have logged in successfully now. I have to hit another command wherein I have to specify it or set the account basically. To now deploy the function, you have to enter another command as this. You should basically deploy this function to Azure. It will take some time to run. So let's wait for it until it runs. So we can see that the function has been deployed successfully. So let's check over here. The configurations that we had set in the app settings has been displayed in the configuration sections. So you can see that the configuration is there. Also, we have the tags that we had added to our function. Yeah. So this is it, my friends. Hope you have learned how you can use the Bicep files to deploy your resources to Azure. It's very simple and it's efficient way in which you can deploy your resources. Thank you so much for watching.